The sketch drama is actually crazy, and there's a lot more drama with this situation. Sketch is a big streamer that has gotten a lot of clout from his streams. He first started streaming his career where he was playing Madden and make people laugh because his funny sayings. And then he built out from that point and he stepped away from gaming and did a lot more collabs and IRL streams. He even got to announce an NFL pick. Then he started hanging around all the new phase members. Then out of nowhere, this video dropped. All right, so this creator right here called Pocketbook, he released a video called The Real Sketch, The Untold Truth of Jamie Marr. And you might be confused, who's Jamie Marr? So he basically goes on to explain, this is Sketch's real past identity. He went by all these screen names on here. So he's been doing content for about, I think two years, he said. So that's right, right when he like stopped doing this. And you can see it kind of looks similar to him. And at first I really didn't think it was him because I mean, he kind of has like basic face. I'm not trying to be rude, but that's just what it is to me. I wouldn't be surprised if someone walking down the road really looked like Sketch. So then he goes into full detail and he goes on to who is Sketch. He's a native Houstonian. He goes into his history and basically a little short, brief history of Sketch. And then he goes to uncovering Jamie Marr, which is his secret identity. And the fact is though, he had an OF, right? So how would you even find this? Me personally, if I'm not zesty, how am I going out there if I'm not seeking this information? But you can see um, he has a lot of things blurred out because it's actually too graphic. But there is some people out there that have seen this with their own eyes. Me personally, I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to do some research. I was trying to seek it out a little bit. I was trying to see. I didn't find anything because I, I I told myself, you know what? I probably don't want to see this. And I, I recommend y'all don't look this up. But basically, he goes into, that's his old OF. And you can see, he's literally been going through everything about this man. That might be TTS, bro. I might have to blur this out. But basically, you can see there's some graphic things going on right here. And Sketch, Sketch is wilding out a little bit. I'm definitely gonna have to blur that. <laughs> there's no way. And you can see... This is the main thing that sold it for me right here was the glasses. The glasses are the exact fucking same. <laughs> it be, it got weird if a motherfucker had the same glasses and looked exactly like Sketch. I wasn't believing that. But I really didn't care at that point. You can see he's met a bunch of famous people and he's all wearing the same glasses, all that stuff. And once again, another thing for the glasses. That's some wild ass fucking top picks left. Damn, nigga. Okay. Then he goes into the past history of actors and X work, which I don't understand why he did that. He basically went on from 849 to 1436. That's about the length of the original exposing sketch, which is the whole history about. But he basically goes on to say, I'm just explaining this and exposing it. You have your own truths or whatever. I'll let him to With that, talk. I leave you to make your own decisions and, and thoughts and feelings about this information that I've shared today. Now, me personally, I feel like it really doesn't matter. Honestly, if you want to do what you want to do and you're not hurting anyone in your free time, do it. Uh, he thought he had a, a groundbreaking discovery. I mean, it is, but it wasn't to the point where I thought that it would be a big deal, but a lot of people blew it out of proportion. While this video dropped, it was late at night and actually a lot of people started to find the video and Placoy Max, one of the FaZe members, Ron and Lacey were actually reacting it live on stream. No clue. I'm gonna be honest, bro. He get real hyper and eager when the hoes come around so shit we just thought he was a regular straight I mean, bro, nigga with we were at a club. with a buzz cut we were at a club he left to go with a girl like, yeah and it's not so basically they're saying they thought he was straight but no one knew where sketch was during this time all right so sketch wasn't posting for a while and it was actually the next day and this tweet has 36 million views on it and this is from phase banks and phase he was actually staying at phase banks house so this is what happened not everything needs to be broadcast and informed but since you'll want to jump to crazy assumptions sketch told me to post these receipts all the phase boys were with him last night sketch was sketch was my homie yesterday he's my homie today he'll be my homie tomorrow you guys are effing weirdos so basically this picture right here is sketch leaving banks's house so he found out late at night that he was getting exposed and it was actually 11 p.m uh 11 20. that's when max and all of them were reacting to it and they didn't know where this dude was at because he left banks's crib and banks was actually asleep and he ended up leaving the infamous glasses what i was talking about and he left his shoes i don't know why he did that that's some crazy work right there but then this is their their text thread you awake i'm sorry bro i didn't mean to involve y'all he said what do you mean you're my boy and you didn't have to dip you didn't get us involved in anything bro you good i'm over by airport i didn't know what to do i'm so sorry come back you're good dude the boys put up and woke me up they wanted to make sure you were good you're good bro come back we're all here you're you're the homie i'll come i just need someone to talk to we're all posted to come back you need to call me 
a car on the way. He tweeted that uh, he, was, he was basically trying to get in contact with him and he ended up actually talking to the FaZe boys. They actually helped him out. These fools pulled up on me. You're a hero. Pretty you much, actually are. <laughs> pretty, much, pretty much dragged me out of bed. Pause. And we all sat and fucking, you know, helped a homie through a really insane time. Facts. A dark time. All jokes aside, these two be fucking cliff arming and saying wild out of pocket shit on stream. But like, I was really, genuinely, the word is impressed. I was really impressed with you guys yesterday, how mature you guys were about everything, and just like how decent y'all were as humans. Just like, I don't know, again, Bro, you don't, don't really, actually don't doesn't, really, actually doesn't like, of course. like, no matter what happened in the past, no matter what, no matter what happens in the future, like, he's still a genuine good ass dude. Of course. Like, no of course. matter it's what. Sad that, it's sad that that even needs to be said out yeah. loud. I know. Again, I just want to highlight you guys. Because, again, it's not really something we gotta like talk about or get into crazy detail over. It's actually sad that in 2024, just being a decent human being, you know what I mean? It's you get praised for It's considered it. heroic and fucking... You get praised for I don't know, I've never seen some shit... I just want to highlight because all the responses weren't really that good. Um, Bruce dropped him off. He was going actually live on Twitter and being really hateful towards Sketch. Uh, not really like directing hate towards him, but really deep, digging deep, making fun of the situation, which I did not like at all. Uh, I thought this was kind of funny. Bruce posted the shoe thing while I was talking about earlier, the glasses and the shoes, which I thought, okay, that's a little funny. I get that. But you're poking a little jokes, but a lot of people were not actually messing with the situation at all. So Jinxie actually reacted to Sketch response and this is what actually started happening. So Sketch basically said that was him and then Jinxie started crying. Absolutely nobody is perfect. Like no one is bro. Everybody goes through shit. Everybody has shit. And to me bro, a friend is a friend no matter what. And it, it honestly doesn't matter if Sketch is, I, I don't even care bro. It doesn't matter if Sketch is gay, straight, bisexual, um, uh pansexual asexual and none of that matters bro a friend is a friend i appreciate you guys watching all the way through this video but i just want to say it doesn't matter what you are or what you think other people think of you we're all human and we're all living on this earth everyone bleeds red the sun sets every night and the moon rises every night so if you have anything you're going through something bro just ask for help people are there for help you and if they aren't you push through it and you go through it, you live another day. I appreciate if you hit that sub button, you hit the like button. I post videos like this weekly.